Okay, so essentially you've got uh, you've got most of the elements of hockey. Okay, this is, it's a really simple game. That's why I play it. So running with the ball, passing the ball, trapping the ball. There's only one other thing, which is tackling. Um, but we don't need to introduce that until we actually get into a, a situation where we're going to have so have a little bit of a little bit of combat, basically. Um, so there's a whole lot of drills that we can do now. And because I've got this, this thing here set up, we're just going to have a look at a drill which just um, emphasises <coughs> that in hockey you can't pass the ball and stay in the same place. Um, because it's such a, this is a full-size hockey field, and if I've only got 11, well, 10, 10 players on the field because you've got a goalkeeper stuck in the goal, uh, we're going to need to move and have lots and lots of options of passes. Okay, So being able to pass the ball and then move into another space is something that's really critical for, for most, most invasion games. Okay. So um, if everybody just wants to come back down to the baseline again, uh, with the tactic is that once you pass the ball, try and get the balls to go square and straight as opposed to a diagonal ball. Because as a defender, if something comes across and it's diagonally coming across the hockey field, there's a really good chance I can take it out. Because I'm trying to mark this player here, and if the ball comes straight through here to try and get to this player, I'm going to take it out. But if we can give a square ball into here to start with, and then commit this defender to come forward and drop a straight ball, then we've eliminated this defender. So it's a really good elimination thing to be able to go square and then straight. Okay, so this drill is all about throwing a square and a straight ball. So if we have, um, we have, let's do it with one other person just to show you to start with. So um, anybody want to come out and just demonstrate with me what we're going to do in this drill? There we go. Look at that. Uh, no, we just need one ball between two. So all we're going to do is have a whole heap of kids slide up behind here and a whole heap behind here. And as soon as we've finished the first square, the next lot can go. So the concept is that the ball is only going to be passed square or straight in relation to the hockey field. And we're going to run diagonal. So as soon as I've made a pass, I'm going to run to the opposite, the angle opposite corner cone within the square. And then we move into the next square, the next square, the next square. Once we get to the end, we're going to come back down the outside along this side of the field, but we're not going to have any cones. This is unrealistic in a hockey field because I'm not going to run exactly to that point in the hockey field. It's going to depend on lots and lots of different things. The pass might be quite quite slow, so I might get a little bit closer. It might be a really hard pass, so I might have to run a bit further. So that's what we're going to do down the back side here, is actually run the same drill down here with no cones. So you're still going to throw a square ball, run into a diagonal, pick up a straight ball, and we're going to try and get it more fluid on this side, okay? So this is going to look like this, so we're going to make a square pass, we're going to run diagonally, and we're going to see the straight. Let's throw a square pass. Into the cone, excellent. Okay, we're going to try and keep it moving so that we're actually going the whole time. Make it work, Make it work. <laughs> So you can see, we get, you can hear um, a whole heap of kids all coming up behind you. So there's not a lot of stand around time. You can come back both sides too, eh, Jack? Yeah. So, so you can see, even with this size group, we've got everybody engaged. These guys are only going to get probably 20 seconds rest before they have to go again. If you're keen. No, I'm done. You're done.